Hey everybody, this is Callum from Tacubin. Today we're going to take a look at the Timbuktu Co-Pilot 20-inch rotor bag. Okay, let's get right down to it. I know, I know. I just went to this magic school and they taught us that. Surprise! Not just one, but we have two here today. Uh, they are the same, different colors. So we're just going to take a look at one. But uh, both are, as you can see, identical 20 inch rollers. So let me do this turn. Let's just take off one so I have enough space to show you the rest of the bag. All right, we're gonna take a look at the black one. Or the blue one, which one? Nah, the black one, okay. So 20 inch roller. Um, Timbuktu designs their bags in San Francisco, California, USA. Uh, they make it apparently in Indonesia is where the box says it's from Solid it's a it's a nice clean bag. We got this bag because we're going on an international trip and we needed something that will comply with the um, Standards that those regional airliners uh, impose on carry-on bags So at 20 inches we figured you know, this is a good safe bet. They market it as an international flyer or carry on one um, but there's a couple of things I mean there are other bags that fit this size you know there there's a few things about this bag in particular that that attracted our interest and you know feel like uh, you should know about it so let's start from the outside okay um, you have handles on all four corners they're pretty much the same handles um, but it's nice that you get you know be able to carry this however you like when you're traveling. Uh, it's two wheels, as you can see. These kind of skateboard type wheels, which makes it very easy to replace if you ever need to do that. Um, rods on the outside, you have a nice rubber grip. Great texture. A little bit non-slip. And you have two that's the farthest it'll go, but you have two uh, locking levels there that you can use. Um, the outside feels nice. The front has this, uh, it's a polished kind of nylon material. Feels pretty good to the touch. Appears to be weather resistant, but um, we'll see when we travel. <laughs> you have two exterior pockets, okay? Let's start with the bigger one or the deeper one, I should say. Um, and it's just the standard, standard pocket for you to slide. Maybe your tablet, your magazines in there when you're traveling. And then you have the top part pocket, you find a little bit more useful. You can throw your cell phone, your wallet in this bag, your shoes, your toiletry bag, anything maybe, yeah, toiletry would be great. You need to take it out for security, just stuff it in here, take it out, put it right back in after you're done. Uh, which is nice. And then, of course, this is a clamshell design that opens from this side. So, here are your zippers. So, it stops there. It's pretty nicely into a clamshell design. Here we are, a lot of mesh. So good organization. Start with the main one before we move on to the to the lid. They have this kind of neoprene material, very soft. Good stitching on the outside. And then in here, oh, smooth, different, different. The wheel wells don't take up too much space, which is good. But this does hamper uh, your storage a little bit, but that's to be expected. Uh, when you're talking about wheeled luggage, you always have that. But for the most part, I mean, it's a nice interior. I love the lining. And this is, I should point out again, the 20 inch, so it's a small size. They do have the same bag available in medium and large as well. Uh, again, we didn't get it because we're going internationally, so we wanted a smaller bag. Um, that's the main compartment. 
zip that up so you can keep your things tidy here when you open it up. You don't have to worry about your things spilling out. Over here on this side, a couple things. So you have this one zipper all the way around that closes this whole thing. And you have two more here. So you get additional compartments for organization. I find that to be a nice touch. Getting pretty well designed there. So this side. This is the inside, or this is that pocket, that top pocket we were looking at earlier. So if you don't fill much with stuff, then you know, you fold down here and you can fill this top side up, which is good. Lining's a little bit different than the one on the main compartment side, but still good nonetheless. And I like that it's, you know, this bag, obviously it's black, but on the inside it's, uh, it's a lighter gray color. So you could identify things a little bit easier doesn't get lost. If it was black, it'd be a little bit tough when you're storing and getting things out. So that's the clamshell. But really, I think what sells this bag is the fact that... First, let me close this up. What I think really sells this bag is the fact that it has a top panel loading option. So you notice this handle here. You see these two zippers. So we open this up. You have access to that main compartment and when we were traveling in Europe and we we're staying at different places um, it was always you know it's tight on space so you don't really always have room to open your things up in these kind of bags so I wish we had a bag like this where we can just pop it open from the top and access the things we need to quickly without using too much space and I think this is one of the best features that this bag has uh, overall, I'm very excited and I'm impressed with the design. This is my first, or this is our first Timbuktu bag. Um, and so far, it's, it's looking really good. Can't wait to travel with it. We'll post more detailed pictures on our website, tacuban.com. Um, that's our look at the 20 inch Timbuktu co pilot rotor bag. Again, this is Count from Tacuban. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to Peru.